Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got just an unboxing of a camera. Now I'm not going to give this the full review treatment. This camera is actually discontinued as far as I know, or as from what I've heard. But it's so cheap and such a great deal that I wanted to at least do this unboxing video. So this is the Blaxis CF100 and it is a front and rear two channel system and currently as of this recording it's only eighty dollars on Amazon and not only is it a two channel system with full 1080p in the front and 720p in the rear and here on the side you can see some of those specs but what's really important is this camera actually has a parking mode very similar to Camsys's newer CH100 or the Blaxis, or excuse me, the Blackview cameras. So it's really cool that you could hardwire this and it won't drain your battery. And it does have a super capacitor as shown in the second row. So this is one of the most full featured two channel systems. And like I said, it's only $80, so it's pretty much a steal. Now the video quality isn't the best. And you know, it doesn't have Wi Fi like the Blackview cameras. It doesn't have some of the really crazy features like OBD2 connection like the Lucas cameras, but again, still has 1080p in the front, 720p in rear with the parking mode with motion or G-Shock detection. And it doesn't constantly record in parking mode, so if you hardwire it, you can be sure it's not just going to drain your battery. If you want, you can set it to only record if it senses a G-Shock in parking mode, or you can turn on the motion detection, just like a Blackview camera. So if I can get this open, I will show you what's inside. Now I actually don't have this camera anymore. I am recording a narration over my unboxing that I did quite a while ago. So I actually sold it to another YouTube user, and I'll provide a link down to his channel down below. He also does dash camera videos or dash cam reviews and his uh, account name or channel name is gibson99.com so again check the link down below. So this is the main unit of the CF100. Now when I first saw it I wasn't a big fan of this design but it is actually pretty small. If you put it behind your mirror it can stay pretty well hidden. It comes with a memory card. I believe this one came with a 16 gigabyte card. And on Amazon it said that it doesn't come with a GPS module, but mine did. I can't guarantee if you purchase this that you're going to get it also, but I found it very strange that it specifically said that it was sold separately, but it came with it. So here's the rear camera. It looks pretty similar to the Blackview rear cameras, but what I don't really like about this one is it's not removable like the Blackview cameras. Once you stick it on, it's stuck on there. But overall, I like it. It's pretty sleek and pretty discreet. That's where you plug in the long cable to connect to the front camera. And there's the cable for the rear camera. And I like that one end is actually a 90 degree L shape to plug into the front. So here is the, here's a little fuse for the power cable. So this does come with just the 12 volt socket, but you can get a hard wiring kit for this camera separately. And this is the GPS unit I was saying came with mine, even though the listing on Amazon claims it doesn't come with it. So. I was a little surprised that it came with it. So that really makes this camera even better or a greater deal. F full 1080p in front, 720p in rear, parking mode with motion or G-Shock detection, GPS. This really is just one of the best deals out there currently, I believe. Now if you don't want the parking mode or if you just want a front camera then I would just go for an A118C and I have review on that camera it is one of my favorite under $100 cameras but if you really want a front and rear 
or if you want to be able to record while you're parked I would definitely take a look at this with a hard wiring kit because it's really comparable to any of the Blackview cameras which are anywhere from 200 to 350 dollars or more now when I say it's comparable to the Blackview two channel cameras that also comes with some of the negatives about the Blackview cameras and that would include the bit rate so the video quality definitely suffers a little bit because you're not just trying to record one stream you're trying to record 1080p front and 720p rear so you're not going to get as good a video quality if you really want great video quality I would look at something like the Street Guardian SG9665 GC but that's a $200 camera and it's only one channel for the front or you could use it in the rear as a separate completely separate rear camera but again this is only $80 and you're getting comparable to Blackview video quality for much cheaper and a lot of the same features so overall I did really like this camera but like I said I actually ended up selling it I initially was gonna do a full review when I got the CH100 I did buy this myself for about ninety dollars when I got the CH100 but I decided just to pass over it because I heard it was discontinued but when I saw it's still for sale for only eighty dollars I decided I looked up my old footage that I had and I still had this unboxing footage so I decided to show you guys just a quick unboxing and give you a quick opinion on what I thought about it so obviously by now you realize I have a pretty positive opinion on this camera it's not perfect it has some shortcomings but for only eighty dollars it's a steal and if you're looking for an affordable two-channel system with a parking mode and GPS this is definitely something to take a look at now when I was looking through my footage the video quality looked fine and I've been in contact with Gibson from Gibson98.com and he had a clip that he showed me that it seemed sort of blurry and or noticeably blurry and I never had that issue so I'm not totally sure what happened I don't know if it was damaged during shipping but like I said I this is just an unboxing so I don't have a full review on this but a lot of people have this camera on dash cam talk and it's pretty popular or has been pretty popular it's been around for a few years and I've never seen that issue before so it could just be an isolated incident but I felt I should at least point that out that he did mention and show me what looked like an issue but to be honest this is something I've come across from a lot of cameras even my A118C which I highly recommend for only $80 has that issue in the summer it gets really hot and then it starts to look like it's all out of focus so for $80 you might take a risk but from everyone else's experience on dash cam talk and on YouTube it seems like it, it was an isolated incident once I hear back more I will update with some annotations so check to make sure your annotations are on in case I added any but as far as I know this camera or at least the model is a very affordable recommendable two-channel system but don't just take my word for it like I said this isn't a full review do some more research check out dashcamtalk.com and look up any other videos you might be able to compare samples of this camera to other cameras like the Blackview or other comparable two channel systems so anyways I hope you enjoyed this quick impressions and unboxing of the Camsys Blacksys CF100 if you like this video or my other videos I'd appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe I also have a Facebook group at facebook.com slash us dash camera as usual drive safe thanks for watching and I'll see you next time